Okay. I'm a little scared. I believe I'm tasked to reach my hand into this bag and grab an object. And say how I would in some way use connected with blockchains, what it is by the feel of it. Hmm. Um. Will it bite? Oh my god, yeah. There is a somehow underlying one colored cube, but it's so much more than that. The first known use case of blockchain technology was Bitcoin, and the title is a peer-to-peer -peer system for, uh, for money. It's really hard to make innovation actionable, and it's even harder to do that for the enterprise, because um, it's not only about cool ideas, it's about making it happen on the ground and for end consumers. So we really have a tough job to do at SAP. I'm going to say security from a perspective that you can be secure in the knowledge that the information that's stored on the blockchain is immutable or that you have a record of somebody uh, changing it. So that way everybody gets to see it. A light bulb is easy. At least 101 times a day somewhere in the world, people are coming up with new ideas on how to use blockchain. So I have a toy car here. We are working with quite a few actors in the mobility sector to uh, connect cars to all the other things that happen in the transportation environment. And it's about the closer you look, <laughs> the more complicated it gets, actually. But the more you find out, uh, also in the sense of what does work, what does not work. Maybe it's confetti in English, so the small pieces of paper here, which look like a mess of individual blockchain transactions, unsorted and distributed all over the place, wait, that's centralized. We can't leave it that way, because blockchain is certainly not centralized. You got me confused on the car. What, what, why did you pick the car? I don't know. I suspect it's chocolate in there, so I will, I will, I will keep it. I should not look, right? <laughs> I again looked. <laughs> Sorry. So you can see I'm curious.